morning, Eamon Darcy is my name. I'm the founder and operator of Quequa, which is the Quantum Education Centre of WA. We're out here in the beautiful Swan Valley in Western Australia. And today I'm going to give an overview of quantum physics, basically, emphasising the double slit experiment and then its natural uh, follow-on, the more complex delayed choice quantum eraser experiment and don't be put off by the the, the name or the diagram <laughs> it's actually not that difficult to understand the double slit shows us superpositioning which is that a subatomic particle like an a electron or a photon or even an atom actually can be in multiple states and multiple and multiple locations at the same time which, which we use today in quantum computing it's fantastic stuff and the double slit shows that it also shows that when we measure it it goes from this wave particle duality into a, 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 a particle so one can then think uh, is all um, substance in the world created by observation, which is a very epistemological and theological idea, uh, concept to, to get around. The delayed choice quantum eraser effect quite clearly shows that something very strange in quantum mechanics is happening over time. Um, events that have actually already happened can be altered. Uh, John Wheeler uh, did a lot of work in this uh, area, uh, even postulated, he still has this thought experiment that we could be getting a photon from a distant star and how we look at it now determines how it travelled for, for the last billion years. So the last billion years of its life can be altered by our decision today. So the question that had baffled scientists for years is, was light a particle or a wave? It could actually be proven to be both. In fact, both at the same time. Amazingly and counterintuitively, we found that when we observed light as a wave, it then changed to a particle. This is called collapsing the wave function. Let me explain it in, with an animation. So if light is a particle, you would expect to see on the photosensitive screen two vertical lines. It's just like thrown through a ball through a slit. But this is not what we see. What we see is light acting as a wave. It always acts as a wave. The only way you can do this is by the part the particle of light actually splitting into a superposition and then recombining and interfering with itself. The really amazing thing comes when we actually try to measure which slit it's going through. As soon as we try to detect it, the um, pattern at the photosensitive screen changes from an interference to what we call a clump pattern. And this is called collapsing the wave function. This is amazing when you think about it. How can something a million times smaller than a speck of dust know whether we're watching it or measuring it and how can it uh, change its fundamental nature depending on whether it's being watched this is something that doesn't happen in any other realm of physics so let us review where we are when the detector is off there's an interference pattern at the back screen when the detector is on, it immediately collapses to a clump pattern. Another question is, where does the measurement take place? Is it at the detector? 
Is it at the switch? Is it at the eyes of the observer? Or is it in the brain of the observer? Um, let's explore the issue of where does this measurement take place? Because it's really important. Um, Einstein said that the collapse of the particle, uh, it was ridiculous to say that the collapse occurred because of whether someone was watching or not. What if it's a baby watching it? And the answer is, if it's a baby watching it, it doesn't collapse the wave function. If it's a dog, any animal, it doesn't collapse the wave function. The wave function is only collapsed when a conscious human being collapses it. And this gets really weird. There have been experiments. Now, everything I've said so far is absolutely experimentally proven. You know, it's standard physics. Um, what I'm about to say is a little bit, con well, it's conjecture. So the Institute of Noetics particularly follows this, but it's worth listening to. And um, what they say is that they have um, conducted many, many experiments that show that, number one, meditators can be 4,000 kilometers away from where the double slit is being conducted and they can collapse the wave function. And they can collapse it over the internet. There's a sort of light that says, now think about which slit the, the particle's going through. And they think at a very high level about the particle going through and then they do collapse the wave function. But over the internet, they actually um, produced a um, computer simulation and when they used the computer simulation it didn't collapse the wave function and when there was a real human being in front of a computer and the real results were sent it did collapse the wave function So, in conclusion, it appears as if consciousness is changing a wave of probability into a particle of thing. It really is unbelievable. Please like us on YouTube and go to our website www.quequa.org.au. Talk to you soon.